Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to convert a normal PDF into a searchable and editable PDF in two ways. Both ways are quite easy and they are ideal if you have a scan file and you just want to copy or extract the text inside or just search inside that document. But first of all, what is a searchable PDF? Well, a searchable PDF is a PDF that you can select copy extract the text inside and if your file is scanned it's just an image the text cannot be searched or extracted from that document so what you have to do to make this document searchable is run OCR on that document which is optical character recognition and to do this whole thing we can use two methods and the first option is probably the best if it's just a quick task and there are quite a few tools out there there is PDF 24 tools and there is online OCR as well and the process is pretty simple you just upload your scanned PDF or you scanned it on your phone or a, or your iPad or a proper scanner and you just select OCR and download the searchable version but this works particularly well with small files and using this method has quite a few advantages it's free, fast, simple you don't need to install any softwares on your device but it also comes with negatives as I said it's very limited in terms of size so if you have a large PDF that's not going to work and these free tools tend to be really bad with blurry text or just not very high quality scans and the fact that you're uploading your documents online that means is probably not ideal for sensitive documents let's just leave it that way but the alternative method which is probably the best method is using Tinashe PD knob and it works on both MacBook and Windows. Just go to the link in the description below and download it on your device and then just hit the open button on the top left corner and just upload your scan document. Now from that top menu just click OCR option and from here you can choose the language I'll just choose English in this case but you can choose one or multiple and just choose the output format to be a searchable PDF just hit start and the software will cleverly convert your document into a fully searchable PDF even if the text was originally a part of the image now this method has quite a few more positives one of the main ones being that this software is installed locally on your device so the uploaded documents are not going into an online server so it's very suitable for very sensitive documents it's very reliable and it's very easy and beginner friendly and with it being a proper software it will give you way more accurate results even if the scan is not very high quality which is great and you can upload really large files and even better you can upload multiple files like maybe 10 and just convert them all into searchable PDFs using batch OCR which is a really time saver feature and therefore it's brilliant for school, work or just for archiving PDFs. In fact let me quickly show you the batch OCR feature just to show you how convenient it is if you've got a folder that's full of scanned PDFs, just click on the batch button and then batch OCR and just upload all of the documents that you want to convert into searchable PDFs and with a few moments all of the files are saved back into your folder but this time they are fully searchable editable PDFs and you can imagine if you, if you deal with a lot of PDFs on a daily basis this is gold. And just some final tips, as I said, if you're dealing with sensitive documents, you're better off using offline softwares like PDNOP because that way you know for sure your documents are not being uploaded to dodgy servers. And if you are the one who's responsible for scans or can actually influence how scans are taken, just try your best to make the scans as best quality as possible because honestly it will just make your life easier and make the searchable PDFs way better quality and way more accurate. That's it. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button down below and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more useful tutorials like this and thank you for watching.